These are the most common types of diesel injection pumps you'll see on a mechanical diesel engine on pickups that were made in America. They require no computers to run. At most, you'll have 12 volts going to a little solenoid to shut down fuel going to it like this or a tube going from the engine's intake into it so that way the injection pump can adjust fueling based on how much boost the turbocharger is putting out. This is a common one you'll see on V8 mechanical diesels used by Ford and General Motors, the Sanadyne DB2. This is what's called a rotary pump. I like this style of injection pump because it's extremely simple, they're very inexpensive, and they're easy to rebuild. Another rotary style is the Bosch VE pump. You'll find these on earlier 12 valves, but they were used on a variety of other engines, and they're very compact and simple. It's turned 90 degrees here, but this rotary vane pump is driven off of this shaft, which pumps fuel into the pump, where the fuel is metered and then directed into this hollow portion of the tube that is also the shaft, and as it spins, it directs fuel into each injector line. Lastly, we got the Bosch P pump. They put these on a lot of things, but you'll see them on later model 12 valves. These injection pumps are big. They're like little engines mounted on the side of the engine. Inside is a little camshaft. And as that camshaft rotates, it pushes up on plungers, which creates pressure. Around those plungers is a sleeve, which rotates to let more or less fuel in. That rotation is controlled by the fuel rack. That's how it's metered. People like these a lot for performance because there's a lot more variables you can tune. And you can easily get to the parts where the fuel flows so you can replace them with larger versions that flow more fuel. But they are not as durable as a rotary pump when you try to run free fuels like black diesel because the plungers can get gummed up and stuck in the up position.